So welcome. So today I'm going to talk about rigging a rig. But what we're going to do differently is we're going to use just one thread. One very long bit of thread, but still one thread. Um, the reason this makes it quicker, in my opinion, is a lot of the time you're tying a knot, you're cutting, you're threading it again, you're tying a knot. So this speeds up that. So what we're going to do is we've got about a metre length of thread and we're going to put about one third of the way down or we're just going to put one of our knots. And we're going to I'm going to go to the mizzen mast, the back mast, the mast down half. And I'm going to put the knot just above the yard arm. Try and not get it tangled up in the gaff. It's there. And I'm tangled up in everything else. So we're looking for it just to go under that hose nest. It's just there. And we're going to take the shorter bit to try and bring it aft and the slightly longer bit down in that forward so I'll just tap this so that it goes under it under it there now the end of this thread you can pull it too tight and it's quite easy to snap so what we're going to do is we're going to get this with the thread we're going to use the shorter bit and we're going to go up to my pen here I have my the actual instructions here on the side you yeah, have to do the the proper one try to get a bit more light on that so we're going to bring the first bit of rigging up to here and we're going to go down up down back up which will finish the rigging here at this point so we at this section here okay what we will then do is so we'll have the rigging and we'll have the bit of thread we're going to bring this one down to the base so this thread the longer bit down to the base of this mast here and we're going to come up here we're going to drop down, we're going to loop around here, we're going to drop down to this point just beyond the air down on the bowsprit. We're going to put a drop of glue there, we're going to come under here, the bowsprit, or over it, whichever. Probably over would be better because it wouldn't foul these sails, but then it isn't in the real boat. So we're going to come back up here to this point here. And then we're going to drop down, go back up, drop down the other side, come back up, and now we're finished at this point here. We're then going to take this one from here to the bowsprit bring her up around here, take her to this point here, bring her back, and then bring her back over to this yard arm here. Okay, so now we have this mast done, but we don't have a line going across here, and that's what we'll do. The bit that will be short of one that we finished here, we're going to bring and do our final little bit of tidying up rigging going from the mass onto it. And that's it, and that's one bit. So I'm going to, the one thing I will do, which I said before, I don't normally do, uh, is I'm going to put a tiny bit of super glue on the ends of both ends of it, the whipping, because the reason for that is we're going to be pushing the same bit through all these little holes, so it will become frayed. Um, so I must go off, I can't find super glue, congealed mass that it is, and I'm going to come off there, and then I'm going to start back again once I find the super glue. Thank you. Okay, so the glue has been found, and in my while searching for it, I realized there's a slightly bit to modify the steps I was mentioning in it earlier, and can actually save uh, save a step or two. So to do this without getting glue everywhere, the best way to do this is, if you can, through the opening of it, you can pop it in. We don't want to put glue, we're all we're looking for, we want to be pushing it all the way out. All we're looking for is so that it doesn't start fraying. So, and this is much, much, much easier to do when you're not trying to do it on camera, believe me. And it's actually not, can I just say that? So, okay, so I'm just poking it in there, gonna have a little bit of super glue onto it, leave it dangle so it doesn't stick to the table, which is something that I've managed to do already. I always have a habit of it. When I dry fit these things, it always is perfect. And then as soon as I have a bit of glue near anything, it all goes pear shaped. Okay, so we'll just, we'll just get a tiny bit. You can see it glistening on it. Okay, so I'm going to start with the mizzen mast. Oh yeah, and I might as well put a bit of, get a bit of glue ready here for putting on where our knots are going to be. Now, the, the, the whole this the purpose of this is to try and do it in one go, but 
pulling the knot, the thread too tight and as we read one is the risk of snapping it. So there's a very good chance, a very good chance that this will uh, snap on me. So what am I going to do? I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to loop around here and come down for the opening, the furry opening here, which I will try and turn around here so you can see it. So, This one is the most tricky one. This is the one that uh, the yarn arm gets in, in the back. In the way of early spare, I should say, is early yarn arm. I think I'm gonna pick this up to try and see it. Show now. I just don't want to get this all coiled up and not look like that. Oh God, sake. Jesus, I have to manage to get knots into it already. I don't want a knot. So I need to have this to go under here. That is the disadvantage of doing this all in one piece, is you end up with a lot of thread that you have to handle around the place. Okay, so that goes up there. It looks okay. Oh, when it ended up going under the yard arm, which would then foul the sail a bit. So that's fine like that. So now we're going to go around the top. Now, the one disadvantage of doing this is you can get in the way of some of the, the sail when you're supposed to go on it. But this is such a faster, faster. This is so a little bit faster than the uh, rigging with all the single pieces that I find it's worth it. But then, hey, if you go with your own thing, if you prefer to put the other way, it's great, go for it. No, well, there is a right and wrong way, I suppose. But these are just interpretations of what township looks like square rig square rigger okay so that was the outside one so now i'm going to have to just i'm just going to hold that there a bit and we're going to go around the bottom of the mast here the yard arm around the top of the lower yard arm Lighting is awful, sorry about that. I'm going to get another light. The problem is if I switch on too many lights, I seem to get a lot of ALC. So, I'm just trying to go in between the mask and keep this in camera at the same time. It is in shot. Camera means in secret. In privacy. That's why I don't put it for kids rating on this channel, A, because what would you be doing to your children if you're making them watch these ones? Sorry, that's after coming around the top there. That was weird. That looks completely weird. But you know what? The best thing to do with this now is trying to do it all without putting a bit of glue onto it, and I'm just wasting time. So I'm going to get this where it's meant to be slack off that this side and do what I should have done. Just put a little bit of glue on that there. So I'm going to take the tension there. So just while we have this here, I'm just going to put a dab of glue there on the top of this. I'll have it on the stick. I can never remember what side it is. It goes on it. Okay, I'm going to just give that a second or so to dry. While that's drying. 
take a bit of slack out of the snout. Those are the only thing, see the little paint pots are any use for those holding models. If you do have, I printed a holder for normal based 28 millimeter models. Uh, but these are, this is handy for uh, the ships because you can't really get these into these paint holders. Now, trust me, if you're not trying to do this while filming it, it is a lot quicker than doing it otherwise. So, now, I've got that one here. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to, just going to put a little bit of glue on this here. And we're going to pull it down to, put the chopper down to the other mast. Of course, the other problem with these, with this boat, is the color is quite dark as well, because I, these are my Spanish colors. So they're quite dark. Give it a glue. I'm just I'm not sure if I got a little, dramatic, a little bit there. So I'm just going to take this one. And this one is going to go to the base of the mainmast. But that's what we have done so far. And the end of this then end of this we will use this right I want to be very clear on that this one the other lens that we'd started is going to go to the base of this mast and then we're going to go up here we're going to go around the rig and back up and we'll see that in a second so I'm just going to leave that dry and I'm going to leave and pause there I'm going to try and reposition the light there as well for a, a bit better Right, so I've moved the light to this side, it's a bit better. So this is where we finished, this point here, this thread here is where we've finished the light. So, go into the light, don't go into the light. Okay, so when we tied it off, we left about two thirds of the uh, thread, just the hair. So that's the bit where we're going to start with, and we're going to take it around the base of this mast here. Uh, so this is, I'm just going to loop it like that, over it. And of course, it's going to get caught in the anchor. I'm going to put it down there. Now, I want to get this down as low as possible. Without it, how on earth did that get stuck on that already? I haven't had a bit of glue in there, just tweezers. So I'm going to try and get this down as low as possible, as I said. And just push this down here. And push down, push down. I'm going to tighten this off and I have a bit of this that's hopefully still good on the thread. Now, Hopefully that's enough on that to hold it. Blue text coming up. We're going to come back up the mast to just over the top of the first air now. Now we're not going to do it at the front because that would look absolutely awful. I'm going to go to here, to the back of it. So I'm going to go up to just over the top of the first air now. Can you see that there now? Hopefully you can. Okay, so this one is going to go to just behind the bowsprit. So that's just going to go to here. I'm going to give a loop off it like that. If any of this hasn't dried in, it'll come underneath there and just stick it underneath so we can see the glob of glob glue there. And now we're going to go to just forward of that um, spar. 
or do you know what? I'm going to go to the top of it because it looks better. I'm going to go loop around there. I'm going to go up to the top of this yarn arm here. And now we're going to do our bits where we come down the side. So we're going to come down the sides to these ones. Now that, if I do like that, will get in the way of the sail. So I'm just going to come to the back of the yarn arm and we're going to start going through that hole there. So just to make sure that it will take off there, I am just going to put a bit of glue to the back. Just a little tap there with glue. Push it in there. So now we're going to go to the center, to these little holes where we come from the inboard, we're going to go to the top, back down, and we will actually finish at that point again here. So just to save my sanity a little bit, I'm just going to hold this up a little bit closer. sing if I could sing. I do enjoy singing but unfortunately nobody else does. Why don't come back out there? Don't want to not forming where we don't want to not. Okay, here's the end of it. We're getting caught back up in it. That's okay though. No. Here we go. So that was the one from the after and I had just got entangled a small bit in it. Okay, so that's the hard bit. Remember the, the one where you have to come from the inboard to the outboard is the hard bit. So we're gonna loop around the top and to save what I did that bit of a disaster the last time. I am actually going to put a bit of glue on this now. Use what you should never do, and I'm actually going to put it on the bottom. Just a tiny bit, tiny bit. There we go, tiny, tiny bit. Okay, so now we're going to that will make life a little bit easier for us, we, we hope. So now we must come from the outboard in on this one. You can see already uh, how much of this is nearly rigged compared to when oh, my phone went off there and I was like, oh, I don't time is over, what's going on there, and pulled it back out. So this one goes back to the top of the middle spar that we did the last time. And I'm again going to be very bold. Put a tiny bit of glue. Tiniest. If you can get the tubes of glue that have the very long and very narrow little pipes you know they're almost like the uh, this type of glue uh, what they have with the, um, the pipe on it they're great because you can just sort of direct it and then what happens is usually to me is it falls over and then it gets all glue in it and that's the end of that okay so where we're going to go now is we're going to go back down to this point here to the, on the bowsprit we're going to go up to here back to the top and then we can bring it back to that mast there and we have Believe it or not, 
the majority of it's up. So, before I do that, that bit comes from here down to here on that side. I'm going to give another loop just for the moment. I'm not going to squirt any more this out. I'm just using what's on the top. Sorry, what's on the top? And I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue on the top of this here. Okay, just to catch this bit of thread which comes out. like that and we're just going to go across the top there this one goes well this one goes out to the one left behind okay like that and then just going to put a tiny bit of glue on there There is most of it. Now you can see here that there is this one hasn't slackened, this one hasn't taught, hasn't got enough tension as it should do. There, it just moves that up. We will be able to cover up some of that with the um, uh, when we put the, uh, the sails on. So that leaves that one. So now we have this bit of thread left here, and this one just needs to go to. Goes to the bottom of that mast there, cross there, and then back up. And that is it done. Fully rigged. Yes, it can be a bit fiddlier, I think, but possibly, maybe. And maybe I hate this rigging. How do I have done it? But anyway, I think it's a bit easier. A lot easier, I must say. So I'm going to go around here. In. I'm only risking it, I know, with the um, asking for trouble putting the glue, squeezing it up in the tube, so I'm going to go back to putting it on a bit of a stick. So I'll put a bit of glue just, just there. Just under there. Take her up here. And we're just going to go around the top of this yard and I'm back. And then that's it. We can glue off there and then we're finished. You see where I'm going there now. So. I am just the top of the iron arm there. Yep. And we can put a little bit of tension on this master drill, pull this one back here, and we'll tighten up some of our other drill strings for us. And that's it. That's it. Rigged with one piece of string. And it's... I haven't timed the tune, but it's definitely... Uh, definitely. 
it is quicker, believe me, trust me on this one. So we just need to tie off, once this glue goes off, these cut these two bits of string off at the end, and that's it, we are done. Uh, there is a little bit of tightening up to do, which we can do, and we're going to talk about that once we've cleared all this up here, but we can just uh, move them around a bit. This glue hasn't gone quite hard on that yet. So there we go, nice and tight. Okay, next we look at putting the sails on it and tidying it up a bit.